A Common Sense Institute published a new report on housing affordability today, and it detailed just how much home prices and mortgage rates have increased over the last 10 years. So digging into the numbers here, the average home in the Denver Metro, $606,000 now, and that is a 135% increase from 10 years ago. The report looked at how many work hours a week are needed to pay for these increased prices. 2013, people earning the average hourly wage needed to work 42 hours a week to pay for their mortgage. Look at this, 2023, people would need to work 114 hours a week. These numbers obviously show home prices rising much, much faster than income. An affordable housing project in Commerce City is expected to be completed in just over a year. So this complex will offer 60 housing units and will serve people in need of affordable housing, but that's not the only problem the developer aims to solve. Denver 7's Jessica Crawford joins us with more on that. And Jessica, this developer's goals go further than just providing housing. Yes, they do. So the developer of the South Platte Crossing Apartments aims to create more diversity in development so the people planning affordable housing better reflect the communities they serve. From breaking ground Three. All right. to a groundbreaking mission. But if I can open up the doors for other uh, developers that look like me, I would really feel good about that development. Eric Nesbitt is a longtime real estate attorney and a brand new real estate developer. His first project here at 72nd Avenue and Colorado Boulevard in Commerce City will serve people who need affordable housing. It'll cater to those earning 30 to 80 percent of the area median income. It's not going to look like your typical affordable housing development project. It will look like a, a new market rate of apartment building. The project, a combined effort between Nesbitt Development, Brinshore, and the Urban Land Conservancy, is located near RTD Inline Avenue Station. Real estate agent Crystal Guz says this comes at a time when affordable housing is badly needed in Commerce City. The average price to rent a house in Commerce City is about $2,800 a month. Costs, she says, can drive out Commerce City locals. We can't afford to live in Commerce City, then we then leave the city. And so then we're overpopulating Aurora and Denver and other places like Lakewood where it's more affordable to live. In addition to affordability, Nesbitt also hopes to increase diversity in projects like this one. According to Grove Impact, black developers represent 0.40% of the industry, while Hispanic developers represent 0.16% of the industry. We don't see a lot of diversity at all in this business. Why is it so important to have diversity when it comes to development? Affordable housing impacts our communities and to have black professionals, Hispanic professionals who are able to get in and understand the needs of our community and serve the needs of our community, that's important. A community with people that could be housed right here in about 14 months. That's really gonna put me on cloud nine. That really will make it worthwhile. And the apartments are also located right next door to a facility that houses mental health counselors and child care. And those services will be made available to some of those South Platte Crossing tenants. Reporting in the studio, I'm Jessica Crawford, Denver 7.